maximizing New Zealand's agricultural output through the use of microclimates. New Zealand's largest Crown Research Institute, Ag Research Limited, in 2007 said that they believe that new technologies will allow New Zealand farmers to double their output by 2020, whilst simultaneously reducing greenhouse gas emissions and other detrimental environmental impacts associated with farming. The year is 2013, and we need to ask ourselves, is this still an obtainable goal? I believe that microclimate utilisation and technology could lead this technological surge in New Zealand's agriculture. Microclimates are local atmospheric zones where the climate is significantly different to that of the surrounding area. The main factors in a microclimate are temperature, humidity, light, wind exposure, soil type and topography. Each microclimate is different and can cause optimal conditions for plant growth and survival, maximising the yield of the crop. New Zealand has a successful history of microclimates, with the Top of Climate Farm Planning the only program identifying and mapping microclimates at a farm scale anywhere in the world. This program resulted in the creation of the Charred Farm Winery, which used its sunny north-facing slopes of its microclimate to grow the international award-winning Pinot Noir, down the road from Queenstown, where it is too cold to grow grapes. Our most renowned fruit also used microclimates in the growing process. Kiwi fruit orchardists use hedges to create a microclimate whereby the kiwi fruit plants are shielded from the wind. This helps to reduce wind chill factor, in doing so maintaining high yield levels. Through the manipulation and or creation of these microclimates to gain ideal conditions for growing crops, we can maximise our crop yields and increase our exports and the value of the agriculture sector. This will create new jobs in the industry, aiding a falling job market. AET has recognised the need for technology and has introduced a microclimate monitoring system to analyse the microclimates in our fields. This enables farmers to direct resources where needed, saving money and boosting yields. The Ministry for the Environment predicts temperature rises of 1 degree Celsius by 2040 as a result of climate change. As New Zealand is a country dependent on primary industry as a main source of income, it is important that we learn how to adapt with our changing condition to get the both best out of our conditions. Further research into how factors affect plants and our climates and microclimates will help us to adapt to this changing world, protecting our future in farming. This is why I believe the future of New Zealand is in microclimates.